My name is Dennis Danko. I am the Stiletto Maritime Technology Demonstration Program Manager. It's a program where we use the craft Stiletto to install and integrate new and innovative technologies that may meet warfighter goals, gaps, or needs. As you can see, Stiletto has been modified over the years. That big arch up top side has been added since the boat was built. Because of that arch, I can put any type of command and control system on this boat and I can take the information from the sensor and take it down to the command and control center. One of the strengths of the Stiletto program is the modularity of the platform. We have the ability to plug and play different technology, upgrade things very quickly and easily. This ensures the relevance over a long period of time to perhaps a very specific fixed design that we can't update, that things are very, very integrated. Because of this modularity, the Stiletto will always stay up to date because we are able to plug and play the most relevant technology and keep us ready for the future. The demonstration we are doing today is with a company from Israel called Sealartec. They have a system which does autonomous launch and recovery of small boats. We met Sealartec at a maritime symposium in Portsmouth, Virginia about a year ago. They talked to us about their ability, ability to launch and recover boats autonomously. Hi, my name is Amitai Peleg. I'm founder and CEO of Sealartec. Sealartec is doing autonomous launch and recoveries. Instead of putting all the responsibility on the recovery, on the boat driver who needs to drive up the ramp, sometimes with excessive speed and force, we are taking a whole different approach. What we're asking the driver to do is just, is come to the stern of the ship, match the speed, that's it, we do all the rest. So we're actually controlling the entire process. The capture is autonomous and the activation of the capture is also autonomous. When we said that we want to work with the U.S. Navy, everyone told us it's not going to happen. It's going to take you anywhere between three to five years to pull off your first demonstration with the Navy. And then I met Dennis Denko in one of the MACC conferences. He was a speaker. He talked about Stiletto. I engaged him and I told him what Sealertech is doing. He said it's interesting. We met back here on the platform. We gave him a presentation of our capabilities. And from that meeting to having a CREDA agreement signed, it took only two months. And after that was signed, it took like uh, six more months to build and ship and install it here. So we had from the first meeting with Dennis until that was installed here about eight months, which is super fast. I don't imagine there is any other way we would have been able to engage and demonstrate this capability with US Navy if such capability like Stiletto wouldn't exist. We do in the Stiletto program, we do have a streamlined process where we reach out to warfighters, we understand enough. We reach out to technology providers, we understand what's the latest and greatest in their technologies. I'm, I'm going to add that our program is very cost effective, especially for the U.S. government. We depend on collaboration with the warfighters. At the same time, we collaborate with the technology providers that may have a solution to those needs. And sure enough, we had a lot of interest. So uh, we have Coast Guard people here, Army people, SOCOM people, Navy. Uh, Eric Schmid, I uh, work for the U.S. Coast Guard Surface Force Logistics Center. Uh, I'm a Naval Architect in our Engineering Service Division. Um, we're here to, to witness the CLR Tech system and uh, we wanted to get a closer up view of the system, kind of better, better understanding of how it works, uh, whether we could adapt it to uh, one of our platforms and, and uh, hopefully improve uh, some of our existing systems and our, our launch recovery. We recently got approved for NICE funding to upgrade our electronic control systems. We're installing a new electronic controls for steering and propulsion and for integration of new equipment. 
While we complete this, this year, Stiletto will be what we call autonomous ready. Stiletto will be prepared to integrate even more new and more modern equipment. That's gonna take us into the future. We're always looking for the next best thing. And we'll figure out a way to get it done. For example, this could have been a challenge. It was a challenge, but we got it done. Getting small business partners here, you know, coming from Vermont or Montana, could be a challenge, but we'll figure out and we'll get them here and we'll get it on the boat and we'll get it out in the water and we'll let them show us their stuff.